Hey folks, welcome back. Um, today, we're getting new strings on this. This is a Michael Kelly acoustic four string. Uh, it's got the Fishman, the standard Fishman electronics pack in it. Um, it's got some nice looking wood on it. Um, I like this guitar. Um, but it's got some goopy strings on it that have been on it for a while. Um, so we're going to put new strings on it, which is, uh, you know, it's just part of life. So let's, uh, let's put some strings on it. These are big bridge pins. Um, got to use the pliers to get on them. Make sure you protect them um, so that you don't booger them up. And we still get chewed up a little bit. Wow. Not at all happy with that. These are dug in here big time. Wow. Okay, I screwed up again. <clears throat> fun, fun, fun. Um, here's what I'm doing when I stick my hand down in there. This should sit like this. And sometimes these are just jammed in there. And so what's happened is when I'm pulling this up, this is wanting, the string is wanting to come up with it like this. So what I'm doing is when I stick my hand down in here, I've got my thumb on here so that I can pull this up. And yeah, this is really, these are really dug in here. Well, that's made in China quality, I guess. And then these two middle, the A and the D string, are really sunk down in there. And I don't know why. Now here, if we can tell this right here, this is the color of the stringage. If you can see this bright color, this is the color that they come out of the package and go on brand new with. And then this nice dark color is uh, sweat and grime and oxidation and stuff like that. As my daughters would say, ew. We're going to use the uh, Dunlop 
fingerboard cleaner and prep. Spray it on a little wiping cloth. This is just a microfiber cloth. There's there's no fretware on this because um, I don't play it very often. Um, although I'm working on a fix for that. Um, I like nice guitars, but I like nice guitars that get played uh, more than anything. Um, and this one doesn't, um, but we will see if we can fix that. Alright, that's clean. Back to this. Actually, let's move this. If any of you guys have got guitars that have um, that have pickups that has a, a plug-in, an acoustic guitar, do you see that right there? That little braided copper wire. That's your Paizo pickup. Um, that is what is getting your um, getting your sound from a mechanical movement, the string going back and forth, to an electrical movement. It's called paizos. So that's what you're getting uh, right there. Um, so be really careful when you're pulling your bridge in and out. You also want to make sure this is nice and flat on the bottom. And this has a little schmutz here on the side. Um, so that um, so that you have full contact on the bottom here. So let's just take a look. Yeah, that's got a little hump to it. Yeah, it'll be okay. Um, so that when your strings press down on here, you're going to have full contact across here so that all the vibrations uh, get going across there. Um, Alright, I'm going to get some linseed oil. I'm going to linseed oil up the neck. I'm going to linseed oil the bridge here, um, the, the tailpiece, um, and then we'll clean the top of this thing. So, stand by. Alright. A little bit of oil. Not a lot of oil. I don't use lemon oil or orange oil or any of that stuff. Because um, I don't. If you look at your Gibson paperwork, it talks about using linseed oil on the fretboard. You know, Gibson's not the do-all and the say-all, but, you know, I'll give him credit on that one. Um, you don't want to do this every time you change the strings. This is a once a year, twice a year kind of thing. <clears throat> Wipe it on, wipe it off, don't pickle it. Wipe it on, wipe it off. Okay, I use paper towels. I throw paper towels away all the time um, because what you don't want to do is to use linseed oil and put it on a rag and then put that oily rag away because it can support combustion, spontaneous combustion. Um, you don't want to blow yourself up. 
on stage is different. Um, but uh, when you're doing stuff in the shop, uh, be safe. Um, let's get the guitar finish cleaner and then a little bit of cream paste stuff and we'll be done. Okay, this is what I'm using today. It could be different tomorrow. It'd probably be different tomorrow or the day after because I'm always looking for something better. Um, this is Dunlop's Polish and Cleaner. Um, I spray it on here and then I take it on to here. This is a good time to get underneath the strings where nobody ever seems to get and it gets all gooed up and dirty and Yuck. Have you ever noticed how all the really cool stuff is over there? I don't know why, it's just kind of the way it works out. Um, let me guess, is it safety sealed for my safety? Oh, it is. Mmm. Carnuba wax. Exciting stuff. Necessary stuff. Stuff that people forget to do. And then they wonder why things don't work. Let's see. What do the directions say here? Hmm, okay. I'm not supposed to eat it. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wait 30 seconds. Ooh, that all shiny. All right, let's put strings on it. Um, do you like that? You like that old man magnifying glass? Strings are on. I don't know for how long. These are the ungliest strings I've ever seen in my life. They are <laughs> ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <clears throat> um, you know, they sound okay. We'll stretch them out a little bit, play them a little bit. I like that this guitar looks really great. It's just so big this way.
Um, I took about a uh, uh, on this guitar the uh, truss rod adjustment is right here. Right. In fact, you can actually see that right there. The truss rod nut right there. Um, I backed off about an eighth of a turn because, like a lot of acoustics, this neck goes really nice until you get here and then it kind of humps up. Um, and then here, still a little tight. I backed off about a, not even a quarter of a turn, probably an eighth of a turn. Um, and then this kind of cleared up right in here. Um, I'll play it for a couple of days um, and then we'll come back and we'll see about it. This, um, I have issues with this because the, br the bridge pins, if you'll note, they're all different heights. Um, not, real, not real jazzed about that. Um, so anyways, I'm going to finish cleaning this up uh, and then putting the wax on it. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll be done. So there it is, the, uh, the Michael Kelly Dragonfly, um, which has the awful pretty inlay on the neck. In fact, we'll do this. We'll do one of these. All right, here's this, these bridge pins that I'm not, I mean, you can really see it here. Not real jazzed about that, but beautiful inlay. And then, uh, then we'll do one of these, trying to keep the glare out. This is the inlay on the neck, it's just gorgeous. Michael Kelly, Dragonfly, Made in China, eh, it's alright. Alright, check back later folks, cheers.